I want to welcome you to Monitoring Reports, what we call our 10 Rules of Effective Report Writing. I personally have over 30 years' experience in the clinical industry, both in drugs and devices for drug companies, device companies, and contract research organizations. I'm currently operating a niche provider company here in New Jersey, and we provide monitoring and auditing services to the industry. I mention that because I have an opportunity to write a lot of these reports and more often to review the monitoring reports from others in my group. This has become, or always has been, a major issue for the regulatory authorities, and therefore we need to remember that our monitoring reports are going to be audited if the FDA or other country regulatory authorities need to look at our work. They do have the ability to audit all of our monitoring reports and our follow-up letters and correspondence, and therefore our writing style is very important. The regulatory agency gets a flavor of our monitoring and uh, due diligence from their understanding of what is documented. And if they get a wrong understanding, it sets everything on the wrong side of the table. We don't want to get a regulatory inspector thinking that we did not follow through if, in fact, we did. So it's very important that our way that we write in our trip reports and in our follow-up letters is consistent with what we actually have managed to accomplish in our monitoring. So let's get started then. We have a lot of things to cover today. The first thing I want to talk about is going to be the effect of poor writing. We want to look and see what does that do to us? How can that harm us if we're not good writers? Sometimes we get a little bit carried away with our punctuation and our grammar in our trip reports going back and forth, but we do want to put our best foot forward. We're going to apply definitions and concepts of scientific report writing because that is somewhat different than writing for other audiences. We'll show you some examples of that, some technical pieces that your company may want to employ. We're also going to look then and apply those 10 rules of quality report writing that we have come up with for CRAs. These do obviously keep evolving as the regulatory focus does change from time to time. And we're going to then try to in integrate the essential document mapping within the monitoring report how can we describe to the external audience what we're doing and that we have done it and that we've documented our efficiency in doing that? And then lastly, we're going to effectively appreciate the challenges that we all have, whether it be the CRA writing the report or the manager who is reviewing that report. 